and hello there YouTube world it's been a long time since I revealed my face here now and anyways before the beginning of this video there's a bit of surprise and you have to see that <laughs> That's right, that is the surprise. I turned 24 this day on the 19th of September. And I want to thank you all for, for those people who have already wished me. And let's move to the video now. Well, it's not just the birthday celebration. There's another thing. Eh? This is also my 200th active video. So I want to thank you guys for supporting me to this stage that I've reached 200 So what is up lads, it's a, a Sunday afternoon, a it's a very beautiful day, a decent weather outside uh, and in today's episode I'm going to show you something extremely much. unique so I'm going to cheat so something new to my viewers, especially the ones from far years The ones so from the age of the video, you are going to love it for sure Just a few days before my 20th birthday, I saw one of the greatest anime moments of all time. And now seeing this title, it shouldn't be too hard to guess. So basically it's over 4 years, more than 4 years since our Ashi boy won his first ever officially recognized Pokemon League, the Alola League. In fact, he was crowned as the first ever champion of Alola League. How good was 2019 as a whole to be honest? Me in a college year, that trip to Daipur in Rajasthan, pre-Covid times, England winning the World Cup, the Ashes, my first glimpse of tennis, and my first glimpse of Formula 1 too, and how times have changed. In 2023, I'm a YouTuber, I can even drive. It's now post-Covid time, I'm an employee now, Anyways, this episode is not about my life before 2019 and 2023. It's about how the Alola League win was a big step to Ash becoming a world champion. Time to. Even before the entry of Journey series, the writers had already pre-planned this to make Ash win a league. I mean, Journeys was Ash's last series as a main character or a protagonist. Ash ended his on-screen journey. Yeah, he still has an off-screen journey. And he ended his on-screen journey by becoming a world champion in the Masters, right? which is the highest a trainer can level. The writers had it in their minds that they needed to make Ash achieve something worth before this big finale. As you see, the Masters Age is the biggest tournament in Pokemon anime history, even before we bigger than the leagues. And every participant need to have their worth achievements because these are the best eight uh, in the anime history. And Alola was the last time Ash faced off in a Pokemon League, and Ash having a record for losing in most of the leagues, I don't think losing here would have guaranteed him a place in Masters Age or even an entry. Even if he did manage to enter. He wouldn't have gained the extreme applause by the audience. This Manalo conference win and the exhibition match against Professor Kukui 
gave Ash and the Pokey fans a huge boost for Ash's success because it made us think that yes, it's Ash's time now, this league will be the turning point in his career and he is soon gonna be on top of the world someday. Now that he has finally managed to win a league, I also knew that Ash emerged as the Orange League and the Battle Frontier Champion, don't think that I forgot this. But even in journeys, if you see carefully, Alola was his most talked achievement and probably the only talked achievement. The noise of the crowd calling Ash as the first ever Alola champion, that name itself gave the goosebumps. And not to forget, Ash was a Carlos League finalist as well, but it even it wasn't talked about much there. Now that Ash has emerged as an official league champion, it was a major hint that Ash is now at his peak, the strongest at that time and that raised massive hopes for his Masters 8 journey. And he did not disappoint. Just imagine, just imagine for yourself, at the start of the World Coronation Series, Ash was below 1000th position. Yes, there were more than a thousand participants in this World Coronation Series. And he battled and won against these top class opponents in the hundreds of episodes that follows, slowly rising to the great class, the ultra class and the master episode after more than 100 episodes. He reached the 8th position, the last in the master's 8 and from here he defeated all of his remaining opponents in the quarterfinal, Steven in the semi-final, Cynthia and including the undefeated champion Leon in the final and finished as the number one at the highest milestone for a trainer. Also in my view it could have been controversial if Ash lost the Alola League 2 and won the Masters Red because that wouldn't that would have some said that Ash hadn't won any major league so it was kind of uh, biased here. There is no way he can win such a big tournament if he cannot win even a single league or if he cannot achieve something major here. So that was my reason why Alola was invaluable for Ash winning the Masters 8. That is all for this video. That was all of my review. And I'm gonna see you the next time soon. Thank you for all the birthday wishes that have done, followed me, that I followed. So take care of yourselves guys and so long. We'll meet the next time.